Hi friends, it's Liz here. Thank you for joining me today. I thought I would share a flip through of my most recently finished ideas junk journal. I guess it's like a reference journal where um, I add ideas or um, inspiration that I have seen somewhere or that I've come up with and I try and fill the pages so that when I'm looking for something to do and I need a quick idea to add it to one of my projects, I can flip through these and be reminded of something that I've either done before or have seen in the past. I have two journals like this at the moment and I will link my previous one below. It's a little bit larger than this one, but for this one, I wanted to try the standard size traveler's notebook. So after this as well, after I show you um, a little bit of what's in here, maybe we'll do a couple of craft with me projects. So maybe you can add some of these to your ideas journal. So here I've just shown you a few different things that I've done in the past. I do have some tutorials or how to videos for most of these projects for this one as well. I have a quick little how to make that little bouquet of flowers. I haven't done a tutorial for this one because I think it's self-explanatory. But if you want to see anything um, that I haven't, you know, previously made a video for, let me know and I will try and put one together. I have shown you how to make these mason jars using your punch board, um, your envelope punch board, if you happen to have one. Um, and then this um, hidden pocket paper clip, we've, I've also shown you how to make these. Now, this was not my original idea. As you can see on my page, I also add where the idea came from or, um, you know, who inspired it. But I really like this one because, again, it's just using, you know, your leftover pieces of paper, etc. This faux envelope, I think it was from... Oh my gosh, I don't remember the name, but I will write it down. I think it's either Yvonne Preston um, or Paula Lemon. I'm not too sure who I saw that did something similar first, but it's one of my favorite things to add to journals, of course. This is the um, floating pocket tag. And so you've got a pocket in the back. You have a little pocket in the front and then you have your little hidden center pocket if you don't put a tab in here then you won't know there's anything inside the uh, tag that's why it's like a little hidden tag I do have a quick video showing you how to make this I will try and link everything that I've mentioned below um, as well as on my blog for easier access and if you have questions of course leave a comment and let me know so um this one here again i showed you a quick video on how to make these coin envelopes oh my gosh this video is a few years old i think on my channel but again i will link it just in case you're interested in a quick way to make some coin envelopes okay so in this video i'm going to show you this project which is a flip up flip down with a pocket inside we'll do that um, closer to the end of the video and then this page has two different types of um, one sheet wonders and it's like um, you know one sheet of paper that you can make several different pockets and tuck spots with them so this little one I have the um, quick tutorial or process video for that one and this one as well this one is made with an eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper now again I'm sure you may have seen some of these before but I'm just kind of going through my ideas journal where um, some of you might be new and this might be something that you would be interested in adding to your junk journal um, items that you make is to have a reference journal where you can have all your different ideas in several pages. I have made lots of projects with junk mail envelopes and this is like my flip uh, pocket one. I made this one different, the one I put in my journal, but um, I have several projects with junk mail envelopes that I will also link below. We recently made this one and it's one of my favorite hidden pockets. And again, um, I just showed you quickly how to make these two little projects in the video, which I will again link below. This one was one of my favorites. Um, it's again, a multi pocket um, tuck spot with made with one sheet of paper. And you can see the different types of pockets you can get out of it depending on how you glue it to your page and um, you know the additional bits that you add to it to um, to make it your multi-pocket little section i really loved this project and again i have a video for that 
I think we'll work on this one today um, because I, I really like that. But first I'll show you this here. And this one again was one sheet of paper and it's that multi pocket thing again, not my original idea. I don't remember where this one was from, but I know I mentioned it in the video when I made that tutorial for all of you. So I, again, I will link that below. I love the multi pockets on this. You can make it a floating pocket or you can glue it and attach it right to a page and you don't need to have the back pocket as well. So um, I think, I think we'll make this um, pocket here. So we're going to use one sheet of 12 by 12 paper and we'll make this project as well as um, the other um, double kind of flip out pocket thing that I showed you at the beginning. And um, you'll have an extra piece left if you wanted to make another one of these uh, multi pockets that I'm going to show you. And the inspiration came from a journal I recently um, sold for um, Shelly Dodd, who has sent them for my consignment shop. So we'll start with this one and then we'll move on. Okay, so you take your 12 by 12 sheet of paper and all you have to do is trim it um, four to four inches in length. So you'll have three sheets that are four inches in length or wide, I should say. The length stays at 12, um, the width is at four inches. And I'm just going to show you one, so I'm not going to show you all um, the other two at the moment. I'm just eyeballing this because I really think this is one of those really fun and easy projects that you don't need a lot of measurement. So you can see here, I'm just trying to make a pocket at the bottom and then flipping the top down to make the flap. So it's like a little envelope. And that's just the first step to make that. And then I'm going to be using some of these book pages, which I'm sure you could use book pages or your additional pieces of scrapbook paper that you have laying around to do the next part. So I'm just going to glue this down and then we'll add our additional uh, little extra pocket on the front. Of course, you can embellish this however you would like, but this is just, I just wanted to quickly show you how to make the base of it. Um, I do like to do that as a lot of my videos, just show you the base concept and then you can, you know, go ahead and, and create your own with all the pieces that you want to use. So I'm going to use uh, a book page piece and I think I'm going to use this side because then I can decorate and not have to worry about covering the text on the back and I'm just eyeballing it again. I'm just seeing, you know, the um, how big I want my pocket to be and I'm just going to cut along one of the lines here and it's so easy because I'm just following the text on this side so it's a lot easier to cut this way. And then I'm just going to glue this down and then we'll make our little pocket. I have really enjoyed making these um, ideas, junk journals or reference journals, I guess. And um, it's just such a great way to not only remember projects that you've enjoyed making um, for things that you can add to a journal page, but also remembering where you saw it or, you know, where the inspiration came from. So really it's almost like a little um, memory journal as well of the creative ideas that you have seen or you've added to your own pages. So I do think I have maybe one or two that I've doubled from my last um, journal, but I still love to go through them anyways. So here's the little pocket and you can see just how nice it looks. So I'm just gonna, going to cut these uh, back pieces off. So for now I'm cutting this out and then this way when I attach my pocket to my page, um, you'll see depending on where you attach your pocket, you can have an additional pocket on the top or on the side. And of course, um, you know, you can decorate this all nice and vintage or um, you can go with whatever designs you're using and I think it's so versatile. Um, it can also be like a floating pocket. Um, so here's your little tuck spot there another one here and then um, this I like to use something kind of on the top to close it so that you know something that's a little bit longer and sturdier keeps the top pocket closed or the flap I should say so if I were attaching this to my journal I would attach it this way or this way to have the pocket come on either side like I've just shown you 
So I really like this project versatile. Of course, you can make it larger if you're using a larger journal. Um, but for my traveler's notebook, I thought a four inch uh, width would, was um, was perfect for the page. Um, but like I said, you can make it smaller or um, bigger depending on on the journal you are going to be adding it to. OK, so I thought I would quickly show you how I made this little flip up thing. And again, it was inspired by Shelley's um, page in her journal. Now, I have since looked at a few several uh, Pinterest posts of different ways that people have made these, but I still kind of like this version. Of course, you can always decorate the top kind of little flaps there. So you take your um, four by 12 leftover piece if you're not making any more of those little pockets. And this one, I'm just going to eyeball it because it really depends on the size of your journal that you'll be using. Um, it depends on, um, you know, the page you're adding it to, etc. So because I have a standard size traveler's notebook, I'm working again with a four inch wide strip of paper. So it's four by 12. And because it's got the lines on it, of course, um, I don't need to measure measure a lot in that sense. I'm just eyeballing it. But again, for you, it depends um, how, you know, how you want your little kind of, uh, I would call them pockets at this point, how big you want the top flap. Do you want them to be kind of centered um, evenly from top to bottom? It really depends. So you can see here, I'm cutting it to the top of the page, but I'm leaving about a quarter inch, I would say, at the top, because that's what I'll be folding over. And then the other piece is going to be um, folded over to make a pocket and then also the flap. So again, with this one, you're just sort of, this is how it would look. You're kind of making your pocket at the bottom and then you'll be folding your flap up to meet the one at the top like this, right? So again, based on your measurements, based on your page, I'm just kind of showing you the, um, the easy process of how I put mine together. Um, of course, I didn't decorate this one. I would if I was going to be adding it to a journal or, um, you know, a traveler's notebook that I'm sending to someone It's or sorry, that I'm adding to, to sell, etc. But this is just, again, because it's my ideas journal, it's just to keep as a reference to remember that this is a really nice interactive piece you can add to your page. And then you just give it that little bit of extra depending on how much time you want to spend on your flaps and then I'm just looking for a page right now where I'm, I I can show you what it will look like. I'm not going to add this one to my traveler's notebook because I already have a sample one, but this is just to show you how I would do it. So this is my top flap. And so here at the bottom is where I'm going to decide where I want it to meet. So see how I'm trying to make them meet almost exact in the center. And then that's when you would fold yours over or score it, etc. So I'm just making a quick fold so I can show you where I'm going to be scoring it. But the inside score part, so what you fold basically, I guess this one is almost in half. What you would fold on the inside becomes the pocket and then the outside is your flap. So as you can see again here, um, the inside there will become my pocket. And then you can see that how it just looks like a nice little um, flip out there. You can make it, of course, to go sideways if you wanted to, depending on your page. But again, this is where I would want it to meet. And then when this is open, then you have your pocket on the inside, which is the back of this um, white piece of cardstock there. OK, so I'm going to show you two more projects that are in my ideas journal. Um, the first one that I forgot to show you was this uh, pocket ones with the doily um, doors, I guess. Gatefold doors, I think that's what they're called. So you've got two pockets there and then the little doilies to keep it closed. Um, I haven't shown you how to make this yet, so if you want to see that, leave a comment below and let me know. And then the next project that I also haven't shown you yet, but it is in my ideas journal, which of course I just remembered. Um, it's the um, another kind of way of having some secret journaling with these little doily um, pockets there or, or doors. So if you want to see any of these um, tutorials, leave a comment below and let me know. I hope you enjoyed the share. I hope you make yourself an ideas journal. And if you have any questions, comments, let me know. Thanks so much for joining me and I'll see you next time. Bye.